Hi, in this video, we will learn preparation of common size statement of profit and loss. So let's go on to the example sum. Example sum, prepare common size statement of profit and loss from the following information. We have information given to us. The balance is on 31st March 2020 as well as the balance on 31st March 2019 is given. So let's go ahead with the solution. Solution. Common size statement of profit and loss. For the years ended thirty first March twenty nineteen and twenty twenty. We have particulars the note number. We'll begin with the Absolute amounts thirty first March twenty nineteen followed by thirty first March twenty twenty and the last column percentage of revenue from operations or in other words net sales. This is for 31st March 2019 in percentage and 31st March 2020 in percentage. We need to Follow the format given in part 2 schedule 3 of Companies Act 2013. So it's Roman number 1. Revenue from operations. Balance for 31st March 2019. 7,50,000 rupees. And 10 lakh rupees for 31st March 2020. Roman number 2 is other income 75,000 rupees and 1 lakh rupees Roman number 3 is total revenue which is the Roman number 1 plus the Roman number 2 8 lakh 25,000 and 11 lakh we'll move on to roman number four expenses we have purchases of stock and trade six lakh rupees and seven lakh fifty thousand rupees. We have changes in inventories. Of stock and trade. It's ten thousand rupees for twenty nineteen. And minus fifty thousand rupees. For twenty twenty. Other expenses, 7,500 for 2019 and 10,000 rupees for 2020. We'll total up the expenses, total expenses. In the case of 2019, it is 6,17,500 rupees. And seven lakh ten thousand 
ten thousand rupees for twenty twenty. Roman number five is profit before tax. It's Roman number three minus the Roman number four total revenue minus the total expenses. In the case of twenty nineteen, it is eight lakh twenty five thousand rupees minus six lakh seventeen thousand five hundred rupees. I'm using the right side for calculation. It's eight lakh twenty five thousand rupees minus six lakh seventeen thousand five hundred. It comes up to two lakh seven thousand five hundred rupees. And in the case of twenty twenty, it's eleven lakh rupees minus seven lakh ten thousand rupees, which is three lakh ninety thousand rupees. We'll deduct the tax six less income tax. It's fifty percent for both the years. One lakh. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees for twenty nineteen, and one lakh ninety five thousand rupees for twenty twenty. And finally, seven is profit after tax. Which is equal to. Five minus six comes up to one lakh three thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees for twenty nineteen, and one lakh twenty ninety five thousand rupees for twenty twenty. We'll go on. What we need to do is we need to equate the revenue from operations of each of the years for hundred percent. We'll begin with. Twenty nineteen, we need to equate seven lakh fifty thousand to hundred percent. Then the case of other income seventy five thousand, it would be seventy five k divided by seven fifty k multiplied by hundred, which is ten percent. This total will be hundred and ten percent. We'll move on to the expenses. In the case of purchases of stock and trade, it is six hundred k divided by seven fifty k multiplied by hundred. Comes up to eighty percent. In the case of changes in inventories, it is ten k divided by. Seven fifty k multiplied by hundred. It's one point three three percent. And in the case of other expenses, it's seven thousand five hundred rupees divided by seven fifty k. Multiplied by hundred. It's equal to one percent. The total comes to eighty-two point three three percent. Now let's complete the profit before tax. It's two lakh seven thousand five hundred divided by seven lakh fifty thousand multiplied by hundred. It's eighty three divided by three.
it's tw 27.67 percentage income tax 103750 divided by 7,50,000 multiplied by 100 it's 13 point Eight three percent and the profit after tax will also be thirteen point eight three percent. We'll move on to thirty first March twenty twenty. Other income is 1 lakh divided by 10 lakh multiplied by 100 which is 10 percent. The total revenue is 110 percent. We move on to the expenses. 7 lakh 50 thousand divided by 10 lakh multiplied by 100 is 75 percent. Changes in inventories is 50k divided by 1000k multiplied by 100. 5% in brackets. Other expenses is 10k divided by 1000k multiplied by 100 which is equal to 1%. The total of the expenses is 75% minus 5% plus 1%, 71%. We'll move on to profit before tax. It's 3,90,000 divided by 1000k multiplied by 100 is equal to 39 percent half of that 19.50 percent income tax and the profit after tax is also 19.50 percent so we've completed the solution I will remove the split and we can view the answer. That's a sum on top. This is the first screen. And the second screen.